Oh, Adam Savage here in my cave with a mailbag special that is maybe just a tad more than a show and tell. Holy cow. Um, so I have received a gun vice master grade um, from a VP of product development for Real Avid, the company that makes this. They make maintenance tools for firearms owners. And his name is uh, Jim Hoffman. And Jim and his son, Ethan, are fans of Mythbusters and have tested. Um, <laughs> they have a 3D printer proudly on display in their living room. And uh, they released this last year, this medium duty vice for holding firearms. And then they realized that it's very plausibly useful for many other purposes. Um, he said, I'm not sending this as a product placement. It's just a gift for you. But... I'm excited enough that here I am placing this product on camera to show you and I'm going to unpack it here. It's so funny that this arrived. I literally was just watching uh, two for Ted Woodford's um, uh, YouTube channel just a couple of days ago and he had something held in a positionable vice. And I have a positionable vice here. It's a pan of vice from uh, Dremel. And like I've had one of those for years, but they tend to be a little small for some of the things I work on. And I was thinking, yeah, I really should go looking for, and then here this comes. So uh, Jim, thank you. And I'm going to unpack this right now and get to know it on camera. Um, so we're gonna do the, uh, oh yeah, the cardboard thing, hold on, let's see. Uh, little bits of tape holding things together. Um, it looks very substantial. It looks like there's some hard and soft jaw options, which is really, really great. I can't sing the praises enough of having access to soft jaws to hold on to stuff without marking it. I have dinged and marred more things with a vice than I care to admit. Um, let's see here. <laughs> Come on. Those are the soft jaws and some attachments. Ooh. I will tell you, as I open products, I have opened every manner possible of Ziploc baggies. And I noticed that some companies buy the thinnest imaginable Ziploc baggies for getting their stuff to you. That's fine. I understand how much every little cost in a retail product adds, you know, X number of dollars to the final thing. But these are nice and robust Ziploc bags. They're going to go in my Ziploc bag reuse bin. And, you know, when someone sends me some nice Ziplocs, I notice. That's all. Product developers of the world, yeah, we're noticing. All right, we've got some uh, wonderful pieces here. These are the soft jaws in there. Oh, that's great. We've got a, um, a really heavy duty open cell uh, neoprene here, or closed cell neoprene, uh, and uh, plastic soft jaws. And this looks like it's probably nylon reinforced plastic. This is the kind of thing you learn when you watch AVE. Uh, These are very nice, nice jaws. All right, let's crack this. And I'll just make sure that I've gotten all the good stuff out of this. Yep, yep, yep. And holy cow, look at this thing. Okay, so let's see here. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, it's there's like multiple positions. Okay, so it clamps into your table here like that. And I guess, yeah, you can go through with these square drives. Um, Oh, that's great. There's a little soft landing so you don't mar your nice wooden gun bottom on the on the main uh, on the main screw on the main lead screw. That's great. Um, what does this do? This Oh, this is a Ah. Interesting. So what does that do? Ooh. It's a little bit greasy, but that would be expected. It is 
greased for preservation and also for being able to move. Oh, I see. Okay. So, hmm. so you could maybe mount it also like this and okay, right. So this is this large ball that allows you to really position it all over the place. Um, oh, ah, and then this allows you to actually, come on, to actually secure it. Let's see here. Should I read the, should I RTFM? Maybe I should RTFM. So reversible stainless steel jaw plates. That's these guys. Um, okay, so then I can put these on and these lock those into place. Oh, that's nice. Same thing here. And these are just little locking pens, great. Torque lock ball and socket lock pin. Okay, so yeah, this th this pin here, uh, the ball is very movable, and this is definitely how to clamp it. Uh, I see, right. That clamps it. But if you want, so that clamps the ball and keeps it from moving, but if you want real hard clamping, you can stick this pin in here, and that will lock it down. This is a lovely piece of engineering. All right. Um, so now what I would love to do is clamp it down. And I, I'm not going to screw it into my table right now because I've got to, in order to do that, I'd have to go all the way through a bunch of steel as well. But I'm going to clamp this down. And it actually looks like, yeah, it's made to be clamped down if you don't want to suck it. So hold on just a second. Wow, I got that size exactly right. So you can move this around like this, which is terrific. Uh, oh, I have the jaws. There we go. That's great. All right, let's do the, um, that's nice. We'll do the nylon fronts. Pretty sure that's nylon. All right, so then this opens up, how far? Actually, that's pretty great. Chrome plated lead screw. Um, and uh, I'm gonna clamp a gun in here that I am positive this vice has never met before. Yeah. I'm going to clamp my matrix screen use lightning gun here. And we're just going to, uh, we're going to see how it does holding on to this. This is great. Um, this is a solid piece of resin, so I don't have any issues about it harming it because it is real tough. That is gorgeous. And uh, yeah, I will tell you that actually working on this was a bit of a pain because I had trouble holding on to it. And like I said, watching Woodford, Ted Woodford's YouTube channel the other day, I was thinking to myself, boy, I do need a heavy duty positionable vice. And dude, this is stunning. I'm really, really pleased with this. Um, I, will, oh, I will tell you one thing. It does look like the, um, the vice handle here, which should slide back and forth. It looks like it has bent a little bit off angle, which means that it was damaged in shipping. Let me just see if I can fix that. Let's see here. Uh, looks like it's about this angle. Yeah, yeah, see that? It was bent there a little bit. So let's get this up here and we'll give it another little smack and try and take that bend out. A little more. A little more. 
That's it. Now it slides. Okay. Um, that is a great bit of kit. So what does this do? What does that do? I'm kind of curious about that. Hold on. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, oh, this is, ah, I see. Okay, so um, <clears throat> this is specifically for, um, for leveling your optics on the gun. That's a very, very gunsmith specific operation. Uh, I don't wanna talk about the future plans they might have for this vice that are written in the letter, but Jim uh, and Ethan, I, I can't thank you enough for this beautiful bit of kit. It is really, really lovely. And uh, I'm delighted to introduce it to a gun it has never met before. Um, and these stainless steel jaws are reversible. Uh, they've got a little step in them, which is actually really nice here for holding on to delicate stuff. You can flip them around. That is just terrific. Um, I love learning about tools that are used in industries I don't have a lot of familiarity with and seeing how they can be of utility to me here in the shop. And this is terrific. Ah, I can't thank you guys enough for that. This is a, uh, a, a very, very welcome addition to the shop. I did not expect this when I came in today. Thank you guys so much. Uh, this is Adam, out. One of the things I love about this channel is that we don't make how-to videos so much as we make what happen videos. And what almost always happens are mistakes and screw ups. In fact, they're completely integral to making and honestly to being a person. And to celebrate this, Tested has a new batch of demerit badges for the screw ups you will encounter in the shop. From left to right, we have touching your paint job, assembling things backwards, losing a tiny screw or part, gluing your fingers together and smashing your thumb. And frankly, if you haven't done both of these, even if you're not a maker, I just don't feel like you've experienced enough of the world. I'm not saying get out a hammer and smash your thumb, but I will tell you that the blacker your fingernail after the injury, the less it's gonna hurt in the long run. I almost forgot, these make excellent additions to your shop apron and they are available at tested-store.com.